Bullvox is the most common colonial microorganism used in a school setting. The flagella of each individual microorganism is pointed outward from what looks like a koosh ball. They float freely in the water and they are photosynthetic. They are visible with the naked eye, but I find the use of a hand lens or a stereo microscope assists in finding them, especially for students. You don't want it to be too frustrating for them. They like light, but not too much light, so don't put them in a south-facing window or under intense lights. Using the hand lens, go into the solution and take a sample. A wide bore pipette is best if you only have narrow bore pipettes. Simply cut one section off or go up the pipette as needed to get a wider bore. Do not use a cover slip. Cover slips will compress the specimens and they will break. Put the slide underneath the microscope and adjust the light and the diaphragm so that it is dim as possible. Again, stressed vulvox will break open. When students find the vulvox, often there'll be daughter cells inside of it, small colonies just starting out. Those daughters can be either sexual or asexual products of reproduction. You may want the students to actually turn up the light once they found and observe the vulvox for a longer period of time so that the uh, adult vulvox or the full-size vulvox breaks open and releases the daughters. Again, vulvox are one of the most interesting microorganisms that can be used in a classroom.